at 6. Kentucky schools have addressed a major shortcoming discovered following the Uvalde school shooting. The Commonwealth still needs twice as many school resource officers. That's what the state's top school safety officials told state lawmakers in Frankfort today. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff was there. He shows us our strengths and weaknesses with school safety measures. It's been four years since the school shooting in Marshall County here in Kentucky. In this latest hearing on school safety, the recent shooting in Uvalde was at the top of state lawmakers' minds. I walked into that school and that was the greatest six years I had. Kentucky's state school job. security marshal, Ben Wilcox, was once a school resource officer. The 2019 School Safety and Resilience Act requires one SRO on each school campus in Kentucky. But, Wilcox says, while the state now has 545 SROs, it still needs 600 more. Recruiting police is, is difficult right now. Recruiting teachers are, is difficult right now. Um, and I think that rotates into uh, SROs as well. 21 people were killed at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas in May, and investigators there found doors at the school did not lock from the inside, giving the shooter more access. But Wilcox says 99.7% of Kentucky schools are now entirely equipped with doors that lock from the inside. The Uvalde police were also criticized for a slow response. A lack of equipment such as shields and battering rams was one factor blamed for the delay. I think we're prepared to uh, provide funding, provide legal help or whatever to make sure all that equipment is there and it's staged properly and it's where it needs to be. State lawmakers asked what Kentucky's SROs are trained to do in school shooting situations. It is now one officer. You hear gunshots, you're on your way. And uh, I've, I've been involved in the active shooter training at DOCJT, and, and that's what we train our folks now, and that's it go towards the gunfire. The School Safety Act also recommends school districts provide one mental health counselor for every 250 students, a goal only 42% of districts met last year. They need to be having their computers removed from their offices and have rocking chairs put in there and let them sit and rock back and forth and talk to these kids. And we're going to have more data next month on initiatives like the number of school mental health counselors when the Office of the State School Security Marshal issues its annual report. In Frankfurt, Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. And JCPS says it plans to have 41 armed school safety officers in place by the beginning of the school year.